Uh, well, I'm at Universal Studios at American Ninja Warrior Live for Red Nose Day. You know what? I love the Red Nose Charity. It's amazing. For me personally, I have a daughter and I wake up every day working hard to make sure she has everything she needs to feel safe and happy and I think every kid in the world deserves that. Uh, I think I'm going to do horribly. I'm not going to do good at all. It's going to be a real, real bad deal. No, no training. Uh, I, you know, hung out with, uh, you know, uh, my ninja for a little bit, and she showed me some of the things. She said, like, you know, here's a bar. Can you climb it? I said, no. She said, here's something. Can you jump on that? I said, not going to happen. Uh, and then I went and sat in my trailer. You know, the obstacle I'm most concerned about is all of the obstacles that are there. Uh, I'm very concerned about them, and I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do about it. I do watch American Ninja Warrior, and I love the show. And I think what people respond to is, uh, you know, just the amazing athleticism of the ninjas. Uh, you know, it's an incredible uh, show to watch, you know, watching people do things that seem completely unreal. And the last thing I would ever think while I was watching it was, hey, I should go do that. But that's what I'm doing, because that's how much I love kids. I'm at Universal Studios in the back lot. We are performing, well, not performing, but we are here at American Ninja Warrior. Um, this is a lot of fun. We're raising money for Red Nose Day. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared, but also excited. Well, I've known about Red Nose Day for a long time. I mean, growing up in London, this has been, I think, Red Nose Day has been around since 1998. So I grew up with this. My parents were always supporting the organization. So this is my chance of kind of supporting and raising awareness for a very, very important organization. I think every time I look at the course, I, uh, I cry internally. Uh, I have had about an hour, two hours practice on this. I got a call last night being like, do you want to come on the show? So uh, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, I hope I don't get too wet, but you know, it's, I mean, I'm afraid of heights um, and I've never done these sort of activities before. So, you know, I'm, it's all in good fun. It's all in good spirit. It's all for the children. So I'm just kind of here to, to, to climb and run my way through and try and raise as much money as possible. Yeah, uh, all of them. Um, but I think the one, um, the one obstacle I'm really concerned about is the one in the middle. Uh, I mean, all of them are very difficult, but the one in the middle requires a lot of like, uh, uh, requires a lot of body strength, upper body strength, and also at the same time, like a lot of agility and flexibility. And flexibility is not my strong point. So what we will see what happens. Uh, well, I met Maggie today, who is my, you know, my ninja trainer, and I knew that this was going to be intense because she's one of the most like, insanely, incredibly sculpted person I've, I've ever met. Um, they're intense, you know. These, these ninjas are, are no joke. They have trained for many years. They're in tip-top shape. Uh, I'm going to try and hopefully not use Maggie, but I may have to. This is one of my favorite nights of shooting American Ninja Warrior because this show is watched by so many kids and tonight we're really giving back to the kids, making sure they're safe, making sure that they uh, have all of the resources that they need to live a good life and grow up to be awesome people. And we get to see celebrities out here. So it's a different air. Usually it's really, really competitive and they're having fun out there, but the celebrities know that they're doing it for a charity. So it'll be really cool to see them and see how well they do. I'm excited to see Derek Huff again. He did so well in the first year of Celebrity Ninja Warrior. Um, he didn't even really use many tricks to get through the course, which some of the other people did. He's just a strong competitor, and I'm excited to see how much better he is this year. 
giving back to kids, you can't ask for a better thing to do. They are the future. All they want to do is be loved. They're innocent. And so I really feel strongly about just making sure that we raise our youth to become the best people that they possibly can and give them all the resources because every kid deserves that. Every kid is born. They don't know what kind of things are going to come into their life. So I, I just love kids so much and they're the ones who are watching the show and it, it can't go wrong. You know, one of the great things about American Ninja Warrior is we know we're making a difference, getting people motivated. But on Red Nose Day, it's extra special because this is the day where everybody gets to give back. Well, this is so special, especially for a guy like me. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles. I know what it means to be able to have someone come in and say, you know what, we care. Red Nose cares. They want to make health care available for these kids. They want to give them a better education, and that's what's important. Well, we know American Ninja Warrior, this show revolves around families. It's, it's, it's the most family watched show around. Kids are watching this show and how great is it to have a show that, that inspires kids now be able to give back directly to those kids, especially the kids who need help the most. No child should ever have to face hunger or, or not have access to education or health care and Red Nose Day addresses that. And that's why yeah. we're proud to be yeah. out here. We're not leaving any kid behind. Red Nose definitely has their back. Well, we have some incredible celebrities out here at Red Nose Day. People like, well, Derek Hough yeah. and, yeah. and Neo. Nasty Alucan. Yeah, yeah, Neo? Neo. Neo. Well, I mean, Neo. the Olympic, you know, Ashton Eaton was great last year. Nasty yep. Alucan, I'm expecting great things. Now, it's those former athletes who are turned celebs now. The reason that I wanted to be involved in tonight is, first of all, I'm a huge fan of the show, and so I've watched for years, and then when I heard that they were partnering with Red Nose Day, I thought, this is perfect, because, you know, I'm definitely not the strongest person here, I'll, I'll be the first to admit it, but to be able to do this for such an amazing organization and a cause and, and to help these kids out and to also have fun doing it, um, I couldn't be more thrilled to be here. Well, I mean, it's a little nerve-wracking because I feel like when I competed at the Olympics, I had trained my entire life for that moment, and so I was very prepared. And, you know, I can't necessarily say I'm, like, 100% prepared for, for today. It was kind of my first time doing some of these obstacles in, in the course, but um, I think I'm, I'm just so excited, and I feel like it's been so many years since I had, like, that feeling of adrenaline and, you know, competing at the Olympics, and so I'm kind of expecting it to be a little bit similar when the crowd gets here and, you know, the lights are now on and um, I'm just excited. Yeah, I was partnered with Barclay, um, who is a, you know, a professional ninja and she would show me things and she's like, oh yeah, it's just like this. And I'm like, hold on, backtrack like two steps and tell me exactly how you did that. She has a gymnastics background, which was super helpful because we're so used to doing things a certain way and we have this muscle memory instilled in us that's over 20 years of like hard work. And so sometimes to have to break that muscle memory and try to do things in a different way is challenging, but she's kind of put everything into gymnastics terms, which has been really helpful for me. All right, well, we are here on the Backlot Universal Studios here at American Ninja Warrior Red Nose Day. I'm super duper excited to be here. Uh, we are basically here raising money, trying to end world, uh, trying to end child Woo! poverty. Yeah, that's guy. Yeah. yeah. This is Derek. Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Let's go. Derek is one of the judges with me on World of Dance, of course, and a complete dork as well. And yeah, so we're basically here to uh, raise money for Red Nose Day. We're trying to end child poverty. Yeah. It's a good time. I'm happy to be here. A little nervous, just a little bit, just a little. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This is going to be fun. Uh, when I first got here and I saw the, cur the course, the first thing I thought was it's a lot bigger in person, a lot higher. Yeah, yeah. The butterflies started moving around a little bit. But you know what? I'm using it as fuel. I'm using the nerves as fuel. The, ner the fuel is going to get me from this one all the way to that one to the top to hit that buzzer and raise money for these kids. That's what it's about. That's my motivation to getting there. Raising money for these kids, not falling in the water. Yes. 
Uh, the thing about Red Nose Day that made me want to be a part of it is the fact that they basically take fun things like this and turn it into ways to raise money for the, for children. You know, uh, their their goal is to end child poverty all the way around all the way around the world, and uh, that just that just completely speaks to my heart. You know, in a lot of cases, it's not these children's fault that they're in the circumstance and situation that they're in. So, you know, to to be a part of this just means it means a lot to me. It means a lot to be able to give back and and have a little fun while doing it. My ninja's name is Drew Dreschel. I hope I said his last name right, because I always mess it up. Drew Dreschel, and he is absolutely amazing. I, I can, to be completely honest with you, I'm nervous looking at it, but after his tutelage, I feel like I got it. I feel like I got it. I'm super excited to be here at American Ninja Warrior for Red Nose Day. Not only am I excited, I'm not gonna lie nervous to run these courses, but I'm just happy to give back, raise awareness for all these kids that truly need us, not only in United States, United States, but worldwide. What made me want to be a part of Red Nose Day is just helping all these children who really, really need us. Um, sometimes I feel like we don't realize that all these kids need us, not only U.S., but worldwide, and they can't get the help without us. So I'm here to raise awareness, raise money, and just help all the children. So my ninja is Grant McCartney, which he's one of the top ninjas. He's absolutely amazing. He's our island ninja. And I'm just really fortunate to have him because he's really already like coached me very well on like all the detail you need for all these courses. But more than anything, he's just really helped boost my confidence because, I mean, look at this. It's scary looking. <laughs> Oh my gosh, when I look at these courses, I get super nervous. One, I'm scared of heights, but they're very intimidating. Like, they're a lot bigger than what they look on TV. Or maybe it's just because now I'm seeing them in person. And then I just see all that water underneath, and I'm like, oh my gosh, please just complete this. <laughs> I am very nervous for the shelf grab. Um, I have great strength in my thighs, but as far as my upper body, I am strong, but not that strong. And so thinking that I have to dangle from a shelf, but get momentum to jump to another shelf is just mind boggling to me, but I'm gonna try to complete it.